So Meghan Markle's dad, Thomas, what is with him? And um, is he going to testify against her? Well, that's what the video will be about, and I hope you like it. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very, very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. This fellow has been very successful in his life and has blown a lot of money and a lot of opportunity, it looks like, too. So I'll give you a brief history on him, which I've done before, but it's been quite some time. So I'll give you a real brief history on him, and then uh, we'll pull the cards. So, in 1944, Thomas Wayne Markle was born on July 18th, so he's a cancer. And he was raised in Newport, uh, Pennsylvania. The Markles, formerly, which is spelled M-A-R-K-L-E, was formerly spelled M-E-R-C-K-E-L, Merkel. Uh, and on his father's side, claims 18th century origins from the Alsatian town of Lampertschlock, Hanau Lichtenberg, now part of Bahrain, uh, France. Uh, his uh, paternal great-great-grandmother was a descendant of Christopher Hussey, which could refer to uh, Chris Hussey, who was, uh, existed from 1599 to 1686, and an English, uh, who, an English colonial official. That's what he was. Now, in 1964, Markle, Thomas Markle, married uh, student and secretary uh, Rosalind Loveless. They had met in 1963 at University of Chicago campus, uh, at a University of Chicago campus party. Okay, they had two children, Yvonne Marie Markle, who later changed her name to Samantha, and she was born in 1964, so, you know. And Thomas Wayne Markle Jr., born in 1966, but the two divorced in 1975. Then in 1979, he married Doria Raglan at the Self-Realization Fellowship Temple of Paramahansa Yogananda, in Hollywood. They split when Megan was two years old and they divorced in 1987 or 1988. Now in 1990, 11 years later, Markle won $750,000, which in 2022 money is equivalent to $1,600,000, uh, $1, and he won that in the California State Lottery. Now, in, 19, in 2016, as of that year, he was retired. He was a retired television, lighting, and photography director who had received a Chicago Midwest Emmy Award for work in television, uh, two daytime Emmy Awards for work on the TV soap opera General Hospital, and was also nominated for daytime Emmy Awards on seven other occasions, plus for lighting design for the 1986-58 th Academy Awards. So, but... Interestingly, he eventually filed for bankruptcy over a debt of $30,000 after winning that big lottery and now lives in Rosarita, Mexico. Ros okay, so the viewer asks, why is Meghan Markle's father saying that he will testify against her? What is that about? So Meghan Markle's father, why is he saying he will testify against her? And I guess that's in his other daughter's lawsuit. Maybe that's the key because it's the other daughter. Hmm. So why? Why, why, why? But first, meditation. So why in the world would a father agree to testify against his daughter? Of course, it is the other daughter that's asking him to do that. Uh, they both are having financial hardships, apparently, father and the older daughter. So why is he willing to testify against one of his own children? Um, six cards. One, two, three, four, five. And six. Why? So why is he saying he will testify against one daughter for the other daughter? Signifier. Strength. Interesting. Strength. Is he showing some sort of strength? Is the older daughter stronger? 
Is this a test of strength? I don't know, but the signifier is strength. The challenge to that strength, then, is uh, this King of Wands plans, actions, forward movement. The king is the, is the one who is um, you know, in charge of these plans, and what the king says is going to happen is going to happen. So this doesn't quite make sense yet. Signifier being strength, and the challenge to that being plans. The base of this reading is the sun. The sun shines a light on an issue. It uh, brings everything out into the open, and that's the base of this reading. I think I'm going to have to come back at the end and try to cap, uh, recap all of this. And the past of this reading is this Knight of Wands, the knight being a um, fighter for those plans or those actions in the past. The sky of this reading is the Queen of Wands. Wow, a lot of wands. Queen of Wands, again, the female, compassionate, but um, uh, still uh, very much pushing those plans uh, forward. And the likely outcome being this Three of Wands, long-term plans. Interesting. So the question is, why uh, would this father testify against his daughter? Well, it starts out with strength. It has to do with strength. Well, perhaps uh, asserting yourself as the father. And it's challenged by, well, as a matter of fact, that. The king of wands. I'm the king of these plans. I'm going to show you who is the father of this family. The base of this reading is the son. You know, the sun uh, kind of reminds me, especially with this babe right here, kind of reminds me of a time when things were brighter and clearer. I'm not sure. Uh, wanting to shine a light on an issue, perhaps, wanting to show the world, you know, who is in charge. And in the uh, past of this reading, with this Knight of Wands, is uh, having been uh, the fighter uh, with the plans for this family, having been the one who uh, was the dad, perhaps. And in the sky of this reading, with this Queen of Wands, is we have an opposing force here, a feminine, a female um, uh, uh, maker or holder or, or uh, embodiment of those plans. I wonder if this could be something personal with his uh, ex-wife, Doria. And then the uh, final outcome for that are these long-term plans, whatever they may be in his mind, <clears throat> to, I think, to reassert himself as the strength of this uh, family. Uh, the last four cards, they don't want to cooperate. That's always interesting to me. Of course, I'm just a bad shuffler, so it's good to, to try to blame something. But um, the last four cards, why... When he testified against his daughter, is this eight of wands? Lots of uh, issues coming together in the environment of a broken heart. All makes sense so far. Hopes of the fears is a heavy load to move forward. A lot of plans, a lot of actions, and hard bundle to make progress with. <clears throat> And then the final outcome is temperance, finding a balance. So I'll, I'll just read the cards out again, exactly what they are, because they don't make sense to me, and maybe you'll be able to interpret them. So uh, why would this father testify against one of his daughters uh, in favor of the other daughter? And the thing is strength here, having to, wanting to show strength, perhaps, to that daughter that's uh, making this fight, because the other daughter doesn't need his strength. She's very strong on her own. And uh, the challenge to it is being this king of plans. Yeah, yeah. And in the um, base of this reading... <clears throat> With the sun, is shining a light on everything. And I want to pull out just a quick definition of the sun here, just to see if it gives me some um, uh, clarity, celebration, vitality, success, revelation, enlightened. So I don't know. To me, I'm getting the feel that this is a mixed up uh, mind, to tell you the truth, that the energy we're trying to get into. But remembering when things were um, <clears throat> clearer, perhaps. And then the past of this reading with this Knight of Wands is being the having been the one who fought for those plans. And in the sky of this reading with this Queen of Wands is uh, realizing that someone else, there is a queen who is now in charge of these plans. And then the likely outcome of the first part of that is, again, wanting to have some long-term plans, maybe something to leave behind for those other children, because you know you're on the way out. Uh, the self of that question with this Eight of Wands are all the issues that are being dealt with, and they're in the environment of just a broken heart, because this is a family squabble. And in the um, uh, hopes and the fears is that this is a hard uh, load to move, and uh, the final outcome is finding some sort of a balance, which, of course, they will. So it just all seems very mixed up and very confused and very unhappy. And for me, it's one uh, person uh, wanting to uh, reassert uh, uh, himself as a power of the family um, that he used to be, and he's just not anymore. I hope that was on point, and I hope you agree with the, uh, the conclusions I came to. And if you didn't, let me know. Let me know what you think, and you may open my eyes. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. 
So this is Llewellyn's Classic Tarot, uh, book by Barbara Moore and illustrations by Eugene Smith. Love the box that this comes in. It's got that neat uh, magnetic clasp on there that I'm just a sucker for. The book is very good. I mean, it's a full color book. It's got very good um, suggestions for how you can use these cards in the divination. And then it talks a little bit in here also about uh, Barbara Moore, Eugene Smith. So I, I like the book. The cards, I mean, everything about this works. You can, you've got a little ribbon that you pull the book out and then it double, does double duty to help you get the cards out. And let me show you those. Now, if I understand correctly, the idea that Llewellyn had is that this is the Rider Waite system, but it is a clearer, uh, less cluttered um, uh, images for the uh, divination uh, of the cards. So that's apparently was his uh, remit to um, the uh, illustrator or the artist, uh, Eugene Smith. I'll let you spread them out like this so you can get a chance to, you know, just look at the cards. If you don't look at cards a lot, or maybe you're thinking about buying some cards and you're thinking about these, you run across this and this gives you an idea if you'd like to have them, I don't know. I just like to spread them out this way. It's an alternative way of shuffling them. And it works really well if you're doing a reading and you have someone who might not feel comfortable shuffling the cards, but at least you can kind of get their energy uh, into the uh, cards this way. So this is, classic tarot and I like them a lot. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.